and today I'm gonna tie a small uh, tube fly. This one is called uh, the Chartreuse uh, Sorensum, which is because it has well the color Chartreuse, and uh, it's made by a guy called uh, uh, whose last name is Sorensen. Uh, it's it's a fairly easy, fairly fairly nice fly. Uh, first of all, I have uh, attached one of these uh, pro uh, nano tubes. Then I'm gonna apply a, a small uh, US tube that is kind of basically just uh, some uh, piece of metal tubing that fits neatly over the uh, the inner inner tube of plastic. And then what we're gonna do is is we're gonna first of all make a small chartreuse arctic fox wing. So I'm taking a small bundle of this uh, chartreuse arctic fox here. Kind of like this will uh, will suffice, will be, uh, be adamant. I'm just taking some of these uh, longest hairs out of here, but not all of them. And this is basically the, the wing type I'm going for. So I'm going to tie this down right where the metal tube starts or ends, or depending on your point of view. So, going to cut off all the leftover materials, just making sure I get everything. So cutting away as clean as I can. You want to have uh, keep uh, keep this as tidy as possible because uh, this is the way to make beautiful flies. It's to get not use too many turns of thread, but of course ensure that your fly is uh, is uh, that your materials are fastened correctly. But uh, but to uh, to be sure that you cut everything off is a key. Uh, to to really really one of the major keys for these for 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 trying tube flies uh, that are beautiful. So I'm taking a, a saddle feather uh, from a, from a hen. This is a Kia one, uh, which are very good. Uh, it comes from uh, from one of the so soft patches I have in the shop as well. They are they are great for for this type of flies. Tying this down in uh, in the tip of the hackle. As always, cutting away what I don't need, what I don't want, and just making sure everything is exactly in place by pulling everything where I want it to be. Nice and steadily turning the hackle. Here. Like that. Fastening the hackle, just keeping everything in place. Cutting away the hackle stem. Now, what we want to have next is uh, is a sh is a it's a longer wing made also from from Arctic uh, Arctic Fox, but in uh, in black. This is going to be black, green and black fly. So I have prepared a black wing here. This is a bit too big for my taste, so I'm going to take a small amount of that out. Tie this down exactly on top of uh, the other wing, like that, and cutting away all the material I can. If you saw me, uh, I kind of twisted it to get as far down on this material, material as I uh, to getting as far down on the Arctic fox as I could. Then I'm applying. So thread with uh, a lot of pressure to it to make sure that it is fastened correctly and exactly where I want it to be. So far, so good. Now what we want to do is we want to have some uh, some flesh in this fly as well. 
And where did I put that? Oh, I have it right here. And I think some... Uh, some... Chetskur's flesh will do nicely for this fly as well. So I'm gonna take some of that. This is a flesh called Glisten Glow Flesh, which is, uh, which is in my my opinion, a very nice flesh for 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 a salmon and sea trout flies. This is of course a salmon and sea trout fly uh, that has worked very well in, in both Denmark and Norway. So I'm taking that was maybe a bit too many strands. I'm taking some strands of this flesh material and putting it down on top of the fly here, on top of the wing trying to distribute distribute it evenly throughout the wing I'm tying this down fastening it securely like that so it will be mixed nicely in to the wing this is a bit long for my taste so I'm gonna cut these some of these off right there cutting off all that I don't need anymore. Nice and thoroughly. And then I'm gonna add another of these Chetreuse hackles. This is gonna be the last one. Um, and after this, we only attach some jungle cocks, and then this fly is well, basically done. The nice thing about using a uh, using a uh, pro system uh, is that uh, it's it's fairly fairly simple to to make fast, nice looking, uh, good uh, flies that really really will uh, will get the job done. You don't need to to spend hours on end making bodies out of tinsel and stuff like that. You can just uh, attach one of these uh, these. Uh, US tubes or drop weights or bullet weights and uh, throw on a couple of hackles, a couple of wings, some flesh maybe uh, maybe if you're in, into that, a, the, a jungle cook uh, as cheeks and then well basically you are done Fastening the hackle. Like so. Now I'm going to take some uh, jungle cook. I know these jungle cooks are not well strictly necessary but I must admit I'm a bit old-fashioned in, in that way because I really really like them I think they give well I don't know the exact word but I think uh, authority <laughs> to your salmon flies is, is, is one word that comes close they give authority they really really makes your fly look like they matter and that is nice because when you're fishing for for salmon, you don't get that many, that many chances. And uh, and what is one of the points that are most important is for you to actually believe in what you have tied onto your leader. And I just think that applying this fairly simple trick of using a jungle cock feather, just well, it just it just looks it just looks right. <laughs> yeah, I know it's. <laughs> It's strange, but it, it just it just adds that little extra authority that makes you at least that makes me believe strong more strongly in my flies and more strongly in what I'm doing. I know it's probably superstition, but well, hey, what the hell? As long as your flies catch his fish, that is. The whole point. Just gonna turn the vice over so I can see where that one ended.
And just to finish off this fly, you could either attach a cone head or a small disc. Both options are, are great and works great for this fly. Uh, I, I really like the small discs uh, because they make your fly move a lot more water so that uh, the fish will have, have a, an easier way of finding them and also they, uh, they can tri contribute very very largely to, uh, to, uh, to the movement of your fly. So let me see if I can find me a cone head down here just to show you the, the difference. Here is a small silver cone head that would look great on this fly. So you like that. This is the size medium or small I think. Uh, but I actually think I would prefer to use one of these small sonic discs. Also made from metal. So they give, add a little bit of weight to the fly. But mainly they add a lot of... Uh, a lot of... A lot of movement. Yeah. That does the trick, don't it? I, I think it does. So, taking uh, the fly out of the vise. Cutting off the tooth. Locating the lighter. It's right there. And just making sure that everything stays in place by heating it up. So, it shrinks backwards. And there you have it. The small Chetreuse Sørensen. I know that's with a bit of a Danish dialect, but I hope <laughs> I hope you get the drift. Well, thank you very much for listening. Those were the words.